Shanghai intensifies the lockdown as Xi Jinping insists on zero COVID. Strict COVID-19 lockdown in Shanghai sparks the desperation. Hong Kong CNN Shanghai is further tightening its stringent lockdown measures after China's top leader Xi Jinping pledged to unswervingly double down on the country's controversial zero COVID policy, leaving millions confined to their homes with no end in sight. Over the weekend, videos showing Shanghai residents arguing or scuffling with the hazmat suit clad workers and police officers while, while being forcefully taken away for government quarantine circulated widely on Chinese social media. Many have, seen, have since been removed by censors after sparkling public anger. The outcry comes as the authorities appear to have walks, walked, walked, walked back airport to easy restrictions in parts of the city, despite a drop in new infections as local officials come under pressure to curb community transmission of the virus. Under the new hardline policies, even residents with a negative COVID test can find themselves placed into centralized government quarantine. According to social media posts and local government notices circulating online, in several parts of the city, entire apartment blocks have been deemed a health risk with all occupants forced from their homes and placed into quarantine in the back of, the, of one positive case. One viral video shows the residents arguing with the police officers who showed up at their doors in hazmat suit to take them to quarantine after someone else on their floor tested positive. From now on, people who live on the same floor as COVID cases must be transported into quarantine, a police officer says in the video. It's not that <coughs> you can do whatever you want unless you are in America. This is China. Another police officer says sternly, waving a bottle of disinfectant in his hand. Stop asking me why. There, there is no why. You, we have to obey our country's regulations and epidemic control policies. CNN cannot independently confirm any such policy has been issued and has reached out to the Shanghai municipal government for clarification. CNN has not been able to identify the work people who take the video took the video and does not know if they were later taken to quarantine. According to notices online, some neighborhoods have imposed the so-called silent periods lasting for two or three days, during which residents are not permitted to leave their homes. These residents have also been temporarily banned from order ordering groceries and daily essentials online leading to renew the fears of food shortages. The escalation follows the per personnel intervention of Xi, who on Thursday issued what many, what many interpolated as the threat to opponent of the COVID zero COVID policy, making clear he would not tolerate acts that distort doubt or deny our country's epidemic prevention policies. She also, he, she also demanded, demanded the officers demonstrate a profound conflict and comprehensive understanding of the policy and warned them against in inadequate awareness, inadequate preparation, and insufficient work in implementing it. Hours after Xi's speech, the Shanghai Municipal Communist Party Committee met on Saturday, or Thursday evening to study his instructions. And at the press conference Sunday, the Shanghai Municipal Health Commission said the city 
was at the critical moment for controlling the outbreak. It's like sailing against the current current in the boat. We must forge, forge ahead or be pushed downstream. We must not relax or snack up, said Zhao Dan Dan, a deputy director of the commission. Zhao also vowed to resolutely implement the requirement to take in everyone who should be taking it and quarantine everyone who should be quarantined to stop community spread of the epidemic as soon as possible. The tightened quarantine re requirements have led to this fire that's this fire among many residents in the financial hub, millions of whom have been subjected to more than six weeks of a harsh lockdown. Tong Ji Wei, a law professor at the East China University of Political Science and Law in Shanghai, denounced uh, such measures as unconstitutional in a widely shared essay on social media. Any action that forcefully sends residents into centralized quarantine is illegal and should stop immediately, Tong wrote. State of emergency is a legal status and it can only exist after a rightful organization declares it declares it according to the constitution. It absolutely cannot be randomly decided or recklessly declared by just any institution or official, Tong wrote. Around the same time, Liu Dali, a Shanghai-based financial lawyer at the leading Chinese law firm, wrote a public letter demanding Shanghai's Municipal People's Con Congress, the city's rubber stamp restorator, restorator, come up with measures to protect the citizens' rights against the epidemic measures such as forced quarantine. Screenshots of both letters have been scrubbed from the Chinese internet after drawing wide attention. On China's Twitter-like Weibo, Tong's verified account have been banned from posting since Monday. A hashtag of his name has been has also been censored. In tinny bailed sarcasm, some internet users shared a 2015 article from the People's Daily, the official Communist Party newspaper, quoting Xi Munt after he took the helm of the party in 2012. No organization or individual has the privilege to be above the constitution and the law. Any act that violates the constitution and the law must be investigated and accounted for. As the post started making the round, users were soon greeted with a glaring message saying the content had been removed by the author.